Hey everybody, um, since there are a lot of questions about what the heck went down with my surgery, what actually happens, I figured I'd give you a demonstration to make it a lot easier than me trying to explain it online on Facebook. Since I don't have any human bones, I'm using animal bones, but this is the way your vertebra work. We'll say that this is L4 and this is L5, or this is L5 and this is L4. I don't remember which way it goes, but that's where we're working. Basically, humans don't have these two big ass vein holes. But our nerve channels right here is pretty much the same kind of deal. So you have your spinal cord right down in the middle of all that crap. Like that. Sorry. <laughs> sort of. Um, through these little side channels here, little bundles of nerves come off the spinal cord and go do different things, different organs, your limbs, or whatever. My problem was on the left side, a chunk of the disc material between the two vertebrae had jammed into that hole and killed off that nerve, so this thigh was dead for all practical purposes and I kept falling down all the time for a year or so. So, what they ended up doing was, they, they're looking at your back, there's about an inch and a half of, you know, from your skin, muscle tissue, connective tissue, whatever. Um, they make a lateral incision. I'll show you that. Uh, through the lateral incision, it's about mm, maybe an inch, inch long. They take a bullet-shaped piece of metal and they work it through the muscle rather than cutting the muscle and get to the bone section that they want to be at, where they want to work. From there, they put a sheath slightly larger than the little bullet-shaped piece of metal and work it into position and keep increasing until they get themselves an opening, a pipe, a tube, that is about three quarters of an inch. A little less than that. So we're looking at about that deep in the body. And they're working through a hole about this big. That's where they're working from. This is my back and everything back here. They can't see anything, you know, except for that little hole. So what I didn't realize was minimally invasive is um, pretty invasive to me. It's like they removed a chunk. So they they wanted to get in there and clean it all up so they get to it. So they basically put that tube up there, got rid of all this. I'm breaking lots more off in the front than they did. But they removed this entire section. I just broke it. But this whole chunk right here is now gone and will never again see the light of day. It's, that part of my backbone is gone and will not grow back. Then, in here where I was having the impingement, they got in here and they reamed that out to make sure the hole was big enough, you know, and it wouldn't mess with anything. Then they went for the, um, the yellow ligament that tends to thicken whenever you have this kind of a problem, uh, which is along the lining on the back here and they nipped off a lot of that yellow ligament and then just reamed out the inside made it nice and big in his word so that that nerve will be flapping in the breeze when they're done. So they whacked off, actually on me it's bigger than this, but it was about a little further over here, a half an inch slot is now gone out of that vertebra and this nerve channel has been opened up and um, the main nerve channel has opened up. Now you figure they're doing that without touching this and without touching the nerve itself that's in that little hole right there where there would be a nerve coming out from the spinal cord. So they basically had to move this while they're doing all that crap through this opening right here. And they did all that through a hole like that big. That's where they're working through. Pretty impressive. Um, since this isn't major, really supported for the back. The back is supported here at, at the disc area. That's where it may, your weight bearing areas are. I was like, holy crap, dude, you just took a big chunk out of the bridge and expect me to stand up. That's not the case. Most of the weight is distributed in the front portion. This is just for, you know, for looks. I don't know what it's for. Um, I don't know how all that stuff works, but the major support of the back goes through the vertebral column. Um, and that's it. That's basically what happened. Here, I'll show you the little hole. It's amazing. This is, this was, Friday morning, 
I'm recording this video on um, at 3:24 uh, Monday afternoon. And so I'm not doing a butt shot, but this, wherever it is, this is the incision. These are his initials, and uh, the doctor saying, "Yeah, that's what I want to cut." So, all in all, all in all, uh, I would say that's pretty damned impressive uh, that they could pull that off through a three-quarter inch hole. And uh, without doing anything, the fact that they at the last minute nick the dura of that nerve, um, not it's not good, it's not bad. It was just a pain that the, the, um, the spinal fluid started to leak out. It's all inside the dura, and so they had to seal that. Let me sit on my back until that healed. Give me at least three days, and then see if my brain started to drop. That was said. They told me I basically have horrendous headache. It would not go away if that happened. Um, and that didn't really happen. Uh, I got off pain medication. I'm really surprised. I was really expecting, you know, bed rest. I would be moving. I'm like, oh my God, I'd be in pain forever. Today I've had uh, one leave this morning. And I walked two and a half miles and did some shopping at the thrift store. So I'll keep you posted on what kind of progress I make, but that's basically what happened in my specific surgery. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.